Hey, Hebrew fans, this is Todd. So, someone asked me how to take off the armor on the movie version He-Man, also known as uh, Rebel Leader He-Man. So, this is my answer to that question. And hold on, I gotta do a sound check first. There we go. So, I have no idea yet, so I guess we'll discover this together. So let me, before we go to first take his gun off him. Now, one thing about this Rebel Leader He-Man, you'll notice that he has a cool knife blade. And Super 7, when they made this, they made the hole super loose. So I've almost lost this thing so many times. I'll be working on the figure and boop, it just falls right out. So be careful not to lose that. So this figure does have a really nice cape and lots of extra parts all over him. So let's take a look and see if we can figure out how to take this off well the good thing is it feels like it's not glued on anywhere so that's that's a good sign that the armor's not glued onto the body anywhere so if i was to remove this what i would do is i would take off the arms right here and then i would uh by heating it up and then i would stretch this over the arm the shoulder piece and once you get that stretched over the arm you should be able to slide this off and pull it off one side at a time and stretch it over the arms i'm not going to do it on this figure because i don't want to stretch the armor out at all but if i was to remove it that's the way i would do it and that should work so heat up the arms with hot water and then pop them off and then you'll be able to stretch the armor over the the armpit or over the shoulder piece and that will allow you to to remove the armor um, it's the same way I do with uh, the vest of, uh, of uh, Prince Adam. It is a pain to do, but basically you have to stretch it over his, his armpits, over his shoulder pieces. So heat up the arms, pull them off, heat up this arm, pull it off, stretch it up over. Aim the arms up so the little point is sticking straight up when you do it. It makes it a lot easier to take it off, and then it should come right off by going over one arm, arm and then the other. All right. That's the way you do it. I'm not doing it though, so I don't want to stretch mine out, but you guys get the idea of how to do it. All right, you guys. Another question somebody had was how to uh, fix the loose um, joint right here. And I guess I'll cover that as well right now since I'm on here. The best way to do it is to get some sort of a plastic stretchy string um, either the kind that comes with the figures that are in the package when they're wrapped. Let's see if I can find some on the floor here from figures I've opened in the past. Uh, nope, I cleaned up too well. And just literally, you stretch it around this gap right here. Right in that gap, like dental floss. And you just floss it right up into the seam right here. And once you get it in that seam, just take and uh, cut off the... the um, elastic on both sides now you can actually do it across the back all the way and only have it come to the front and then cut off the front on both sides so it actually circles around the back and that works really good so you get one piece then work it up the dental floss into this area and the ones that come with the package are flat on one side and and so they actually do work better another way to do it is to carefully put um some sort of material in there like super glue and keep moving the figure back and forth and don't stop until that glue dries um, blowing on it at the same time while you do it. Now that can be dangerous depending on how wide the gap is here. The super glue might not work. But if it's, a, if it's a pretty, not a very wide gap, that will work pretty good. I would suggest doing it from the back though for the same reasons because you don't want to have that mess on the front. All right. Hopefully these videos have helped you too. That had the questions. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. And uh, that's all I have for tonight. Actually, you know what? I've got to check the questions. Let's see if we have any questions. Let's see. Hey, Dean. How's it going, man? Hey, Crank. I just lost it, huh? Also, what do I do when I heat up the figure, start screaming in pain, and tries to escape the pot? Well, um, make sure that when you heat the figure up that you have a figure that's already been endowed by the power of Grayskull and it won't burn them. So... That's what you got to do. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next video. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. Bye now.